Alright, so in this video we're going to go over how to use images and figures in LaTeX, like what kind of logic is behind them. Um, so here I have a pretty empty LaTeX document. Um, now in order to call images generally you have to invoke a particular package. Um, so if you go to the top of your document before you begin document, uh, type out the use package command. Um, and the package we're going to call is uh, graphic x. So graphic x. Um, so this is the package that LaTeX uses to call images, um, and it enables you to do pretty much all the basic manipulation with them. Um, so the important function you want to call is include graphics. Uh, now let me show you what the folder I am looks like. Uh, I'm in looks like. I have a couple of pictures here, one named Arch PNG, Editors PNG, a couple things like this. Um, so if I run the include graphics command. Let's just say I want to choose Arch PNG. I just say Arch PNG should be in the same folder, of course, and just run that. And uh, if you look over at my um, uh, my preview here, you'll notice that there's nothing here because our image has actually been put on the second page. It is here, but it's in its this massive size uh, because by default, what LaTeX is going to do is just put everything in at the actual size it is. So how are we going to change that? Uh, well, it's pretty easy. Um, before you actually call, before your uh, curly brackets for actually calling the image name, uh, you can feed it some parameters in square brackets. So let's say we want to have, uh, what you can do is you can adjust the width. So we'll say width should be maybe five inches. Okay. Now that we've done that, our picture has shrunk to a width of five inches. Uh, the height is automatically adjusted as well, so this is much more manageable. Actually, let's shrink this down a little more. Let's say three. Um, now, of course, you also notice it's not centered by default, uh, but you can center images just by using the uh, center environment. So before that, before include graphics, we can say begin center, and after we say in center, and then it should be nice and centered. So that's nice. Uh, now, there are other parameters you can feed it here. For example, in addition to width, you can, of course, feed it a height. So let's say the height is uh, 5 inches, something like that. And you'll notice that it'll stretch out to that particular uh, length, or the, that height and width. Um, so one thing that is nice that you might want to use is um, keep aspect ratio. Now this parameter, you'll notice it'll shrink back up so that its height's sort of a normal length. Keep aspect ratio is nice because what you can basically do is call this command like in a macro where you automatically give it a width and height. And functionally, this the width and height act as maximum values if you have keep aspect ratio. So that's a nice thing that you can do to sort of keep things in order. Uh, but just so you know, there are actually other things you can do besides just manually putting in width and height. You can also say something like, let's say scale uh, equals 0.5. So that means it'll be half the size uh, that it usually is. Um, but I, I recommend using width and height because they're a little easier to use. Uh, but there is, if you don't necessarily like doing that manually, there is one command that makes things super easy. Um, and that is text width. So if you set text width as, oops, sorry, I got to say width equals text width. Um, so if you set the width equal to text width, this just means fit it so it fits in with a normal line. Um, so that'll keep things nice and even. Uh, and if you don't want it to fill up the whole line, you can actually do something like this. You can say uh, 0.7 text width, and this will shrink it to 70% of the text width. So this is this is honestly probably the most robust way of doing it, using a text width and something else, because if you take this code and put it in another document, it's automatically going to readjust. Uh, so that's really nice. Um, you can do other things just in case uh, you you know might need to. For example, you can change the angle or the, of the uh, picture. So let's say angle 90, and that will switch it uh, 90 degrees. Of course, you can doesn't just have to be 90. It can be like 43 or something like that. LaTeX pretty uh, flexible in dealing with that. So that's basically how you insert uh, images. Uh, now let's talk about figures because figures you might want to put. You, you're pretty much going to want to put all of your images in figures in any professional document. Uh, but before I talk about figures, let me do something else. I'm going to add in another package. You don't have to do this. This is just for illustration. I'm going to add in the package blind text. Um, and this package just lets me call a command blind text. Um, 
which just is going to add in a bunch of extra text because that's what I want here. So now we have um, you know a bunch of lore mips on here. Uh, let's go down in our document, let's say in here, uh, and we want to include another uh, picture. Um, now in this time, this time we're going to include it in a figure. Uh, so let's say include graphics. Uh, we'll set the width equal to say 70% of the text width. And the file we're going to call is, uh, we'll call emacs.jpg. Okay, so there's our picture. Uh, it's not centered because I haven't included it in a center environment, but here it is. Here's our image. Um, so you might want to include images in what are called figures. And in order to do that, you just type begin figure and after figure uh, around it. Uh, so figures do a couple things. Uh, one is that they automatically, you can't see it yet, but they automatically number your images. They also make them so they're more flexible. And you can also do things like adding uh, captions. So for example, if I, in a side of a figure, if I say caption, um, and let's say, let's give this a caption, let's say uh, the effects of Emacs on your fingers. Um, now what this is going to do is, uh, oh, I spelled caption wrong. Never notice these things. Um, so now you're going to have a nice little caption here. Um, now I think I want to actually make this uh, centered as well because it looks a little uh, ugly as is. So we'll center that by putting the uh, begin and enter uh, center environment. Now you, you should also be able to, I think you can, um, let's get rid of these. You can also say something like centering and that'll actually do the same thing. So that might be a little easier for you. But anyway, here's our picture. Now the thing about figures is that you can manipulate where they appear. Um, by default, LaTeX is gonna put them in the place uh, which is sort of most efficient. So let me give you an example. I'm just gonna add some text before this. So I'll say um, in the figure below, you can see uh, the medical effects of Emacs, something like that. But you'll notice if you look in our text here, uh, if I actually zoom in on this um, PDF, you'll notice that this text is actually going right here. So it's not actually right in front of the, I mean, it's not right above uh, the <clears throat> actual figure. So that's the thing with figures. Figure e, uh, LaTeX will automatically put figures in the place where it's most efficient, most safe uh, uh, space saving. Uh, but you can change that. For example, if you go to the begin figure uh, tag, and if you put in uh, square brackets, just an H, uh, what this does is it's going to keep, it's going to make sure that the figure appears exactly where you, you know, where you put it in the text. Uh, or you can put T. T will automatically put the figure at the top of a page. Or you can put B. Uh, B will put it at the bottom of a page. So here it's it's actually on a page all to itself because that's the only place that LaTeX could fit it. Uh, or you can just press P, and this isn't going to change anything, but P just says, always put this on a page um, of its own. So yeah, those are the sort of functionalities you get with uh, figures. And you know, in most documents, in most scientific articles and stuff like this, you'll often notice that figures are going to be on totally different pages uh, than where they're referred to in text because you have to save a whole lot of space. Um, all right, so that's figures generally. Uh, another thing you might want to do, I'm going to add in some more uh, blank text so we have more stuff here. Um, another thing you might, might want to do is uh, wrapping text around figures. So notice these pictures, the, both of these pictures and this figure, they're in line. But you can include a figure sort of off to the side and have text wrap, wrap around it. So if you go back to the tap, top, we're going to use another package. And the package we're going, package we're going to use is wrap a uh, fig. Um, so it's pretty simple. We're a fig. Uh, and then we'll scoot down here. And what you could do is call the um, uh, begin wrap figure. Oops. Um, and then we'll end wrap figure. Um, and uh, basically, in here, uh, this takes two different arguments. One is, what orientation do you want the figure to be? Let's say we want it on the right. And the other is, how much space is this figure going to be taking up? Let's say um, three inches or something like that. 
Now everything we put in here, images or texts and in, text included, is going to appear in some kind of figure off to the side. And let me scoot down here. Uh, so you'll notice this is a figure already. Uh, let's replace this with an image. Um, so let's say um, LaTeX. Um, so include graphics latex.png. And of course now we have to change the width. So let's change it to something that's less than three inches. So we'll say width equals 2.5. And that should, uh, why is that not working? Sorry, I flipped the recording off because something was going wrong and I didn't realize I didn't put inches here. So yeah, that's what I missed. Me, be sure to always put uh, whatever units you want. Uh, can be centimeters, can be inches. Um, there are a couple, I think you can even put pixels. But anyway, here's our here's our wrap figure here. So you'll notice that uh, the figure itself takes up three inches, and the picture here takes up two and a half. Let's actually um, call the centering command because I sort of want this in the middle. So yeah, that looks a little bit a little better. Um, and um, so yeah, that's basically it. You can add like uh, normal figures. You can also add captions. So I'll just put some text in there because I don't care that much about it. Um, and now the last thing you'll realize is both of our figures have been automatically numbered. So this is figure one, this is figure two, and these numbers work like any other situation in LaTeX. You can use the label and ref commands to refer to them. Um, so what I'm going to do is label this as, you know, LaTeX pick. So now whenever I'm in the text, I can say something like, uh, please, oops, please refer to um, figure and then ref latex pick. Um, now if we find that in text, oh yeah, here it is. Uh, please refer to figure two. I don't know if you can see that when we zoom in a little more. So of course the numbering is done automatically. Um, so yeah, that's another nice thing about figures. When you're taking this text and you're putting it, or taking the code and putting it in another document, all of this stuff will automatically readjust. Uh, okay, so anyway, just as a reminder, you learned how to put in uh, pictures in LaTeX. Uh, you can, by default, they're just going to put them in whatever size they are, um, but you can change the width, the text, you know, to text width or something else. You can call individual heights, um, something like that. Uh, you can use the keep aspect ratio to make sure everything's in order. You can also put images in figures. Uh, figures, of course, can float around. You can change where they appear by putting H or P for new page or T for top or B for bottom in the little brackets after the bin begin figure command. Uh, and lastly, we have the wrap figure, uh, which is called by wrap fig. Um, and you just use this, tell it, give it an orientation and give it a width. And uh, yeah, that'll give you nice little uh, figures to wrap your text around. So anyway, hope you learned something uh, and you'll be seeing some more soon.